Hello and welcome to the Stroh's Bros. We are here playing for some Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, today we're going to be on Dark Carnival. This is one of the best maps on Left 4 Dead 2. You want to speak, Derek, or you're just going to sit there like a bumbling idiot? I guess I'll speak. I did not have anything to contribute to the conversation as of yet. Uh, basically, the main characters in order are Rochelle, Nick, Coach, and Ellis. Today, I, Tally96, am being Nick. I am being Rochelle. And I'm Coach. All right. We get the most magical creature of them all, the clown. Clowns are scary. For those that don't, well, that can't see us, Derek hates clowns. Like a lot. Okay, we're in. So basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to survive till we get to the safe room. We ain't driving through this. Sorry, guys. Guess it wasn't such a hot idea after all. Don't sweat it, Ellis. At least you got us out of that mall. Okay, I'm grabbing a health pack. Is there any melee weapons around? No, not yet. Now, see, what I like about this game is the melee weapons. They kill people in one hit. That's all you need. You use a pistol, though, it takes a few hits. Melee weapons, boom, dead. And now, as usual, we'll be seeing my stream just because, well, these two computers suck. Yes. I'm not running craps on this little computer. So, pretty soon we'll be starting to record other videos for games like Smash Bros. and Call of Duty. Yep. As soon as we can actually get a camera that will record on a television. Um, Technically, capture card, but... Yeah. My main thing that I'm going to be playing usually if I'm around is probably Call of Duty or Smash Bros. on the console. Um, in my case, I'll, well, I'll probably be around for all of it since I'll, I'm the editor. It is your mic. Um, that it is. Um, but I specialize in um, Nintendo kind of consoles, so I do good in things like Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. Um, but otherwise, suck. Oh, there's, that's why I was walking. Um, otherwise, I suck in Call of Duty. I don't know. I, I just feel like, well, I'm a big PS fan. I love PlayStation. I love Sony. I think all their games are great. Like, I love Infamous. And I feel like that they have some of the best games out there. And don't get me wrong, I like Sony a lot too, it's just money and... Well, I mean... A lot of Sony stuff is very expensive. That's true, um, that's true. But Sony just doesn't pump out games like it's nothing. Like, when they pump out a game, it they put their time and dedication into it. <coughs> Microsoft! Um, <coughs> yeah, um, the, the general consensus is fuck Microsoft. That is so, the general consensus. Well, I mean, all but Dylan, but he is not here right now. Um, he will show up in some future videos. That's going to be the thing I feel like will be unique with this... Um, with channels like Rooster Teeth and Game Grumps and other group like affairs like We Work to Pray, um, <laughs> you usually have a lot of regulars. Um, or in the case of like Game Grumps, where you always have a constant um, amount of people, and I feel like in this where we have people that are come in and out, play different kinds of games, I feel like it'll give a nice sort of variety. It also gives a new perspective on many video games. Like, if you ask me, stealth games are some of the best games out there, but a lot of people will disagree with my opinion. And, um, fuck Microsoft. Yes. I mean, that's kind of a given. So, guys, did you know there's a fire thing in this hotel lobby? There's a gas can in there? Okay. Uh, r warning to everyone. Hey. Ryan loves gas cans and fire in this game, and will try to kill his teammates with Except it. Except Derek was the one that shot this one, and now the office may or may not be on fire. Office may be on fire. Yeah, but Ryan, what what's your favorite like genre of video games? What do you like the most? Um, I'd have to say my preference is in RPGs, just because that's what I grew up on. Yeah, yeah. A mixture of that and platformer, specifically the 3D platformer like Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie. Well, when it comes to RPGs, you got a lot of good ones out there. You got Skyrim, Fallout, Fable, Final Fantasy. Those are all great games, but. I don't know. When it comes to games, I love the stealth games. Metal Gear Solid will always be my favorite series. With, well, my favorite kinds of games, like, well, I said are RPGs. Um, although I say that, I'm not the biggest fan of Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I can see the uh, impact they've had on the gaming industry. But like, the, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. I like the older Final Fantasy games. Like, 4 was one of my favorites, but... The newer ones I'm not so much into because they've kind of lost the mysticism to it. It's more of a go straight and do this. It's not as much of an adventure. I wouldn't say they're linear. I, I wouldn't um, say that. 13 is. Yeah. And 13 too. Uh, I barely it's, 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 it's a straight hallway. 
Um, I bear I barely played a Final Fantasy game. But I the, the thing that turns me off of even old Final Fantasy games are the uh, battle system with the I, rotating turn. Um, thing? with a role playing game, I feel like having the bar that charged up for you to take your turn instead of it being um like at the end of your enemy's turn you go. I feel like it's a third element to a battle that really feels intrusive. Mm-hmm. Um, I, see what you're I feel like my classic, my favorite classic RPG system is within the Paper Mario series, specifically mm-hmm. in yeah. uh, Paper Mario 2, where it's refined the best. Um, this formula can also be seen in South Park Stick of Truth, yes. where you have a lot of input in the battles. But I played Final Fantasy X, and I feel like they had the best battle system out right. of out of the different Final Fantasy games. But turn-based battles aren't my only um, likes. What, what about like games like Kingdom Hearts? Those are great. Um, I can see why some people don't like Kingdom Hearts, because it's <laughs> a lot of tap to win, like tap triangle to win. Well, Derek, but, why don't you like Kingdom Hearts? Because I'm not a Disney fan by any stretch of the imagination. And that's Derek. He doesn't like Disney. He doesn't like clowns. I do not like either of those things. I hate um, country music. And I do like country music, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. You're way behind us. Yes, I am, because I went looking for fire things. So just close the safe room door, because I've got a jockey on me, and I also just startled the witch, so... How could you startle the witch? Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. Because I just ran over, and she didn't react. Huh. Either way, I'm dead, so yeah. I'll go get him. Nah, just leave me, you're never... Oh, wait, maybe you will. If I can remember where you were. Um, um, I'm laying in the parking lot in between a bus and a van. If I, this can help, I'm shooting that, straight up in the air. No, that doesn't help. You, not wait, at all. You just gotta look for his outline. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I'm he's in the back, motel. Dude. He's yeah. in the motel. Oh, I'm okay. Get back in here, Ryan. Right. Yeah. See you, Norman. I'm Derek. <laughs> he doesn't get the joke. No, I do not. Norman Bates. Ah. Bates Motel. I get it now. Anyway, well, when it comes to Nintendo games, I love a lot of them. I really like the Legend of Zelda series. Um, yeah, Zelda's pretty much one of the go-to, like, how to make a good game. Yeah. Um, w- what about games like Star Fox? <sighs> you picked this topic knowing it would be controversial. Yeah, I know. So. Well, I know how much you like this topic. So. Burn me at the stake now. I don't think Star Fox 64 deserves all the praise that it gets. I think Star Fox Adventures was the better game. And people say that it... Wow, well, he's taking forever to die. People say that it copied the Legend of Zelda formula. And, well, it did, but it did it well. It made a good game that didn't last 15 minutes. Um, it wasn't repetitive. And I feel like Assault was even a better game because it had variety within its gameplay. You know, I feel people like... Uh, I feel that people are going to hate you for just for saying that. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Oh, well. I mean, I think Majora's Mask is the best Zelda game, which now is not so much a controversial thing, but back I mean, when people cared. I mean, as a kid, I didn't like it as much as Ocarina of Time because I always felt pressured with the time, but I realized that now that's kind of stupid because you could turn time back, and it's not that hard as I thought it was as a kid. I've always, like... Well, I mean, when I was younger, I... I was terrible at video games. I mean, I still pretty much am. I am. But, but um, I had both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And I knew I liked Majora's Mask better because I never got far in either of them. And by fa- like not getting far, I mean I never left the first area of either game. So with Ocarina of Time, that is Kokiri Forest and Majora's Mask, that's Clock Town. And so I judged the games based on those two things, not... The actual gameplay, not the bosses, not the music. I mean, solely on what I was actually able to play without screaming in fear. You got, you got to remember how old you were though when those games came out. Oh, this was a good few years after I was, I was straight up pussy. <laughs> um, because in Ocarina of Time, when you go out to the Hyrule Field and you don't get to Castletown before um, the night comes, then you have the stall sugar need come out. Yeah, those those are cool. those things now I find are interesting, but. I think those scared, things are hilarious. Scared the living day lights out of me, so I always had to turn off my N64. But I have always had a bigger kind of playground as a sense with Majora's Mask, so I always liked it better. What if we did like a scare run of the game Outlast? Oh, crap. I've got a... Thank, thank no, you. No, you don't. You're welcome. 
Whoever got that, thank you. What if we did like a scare run of Outlast? Do you think that'd be fun? Um. Oh crap! Charger. I can tell you how that's gonna end up with me crying in fear. <laughs> you, you're that scared of Outlast? It's not specifically a game. It's jump scares in general. And get out of here. So you just don't like jump scares? I feel like they're the um, run of the mill. They're the they're like the fart joke of scares. Like it's oh you're killing me. Um, it's just like you can scare anyone with a jump scare. I feel like yeah. psychological horror is where. Well, um, look at old Resident Evil games. Hey guys, I got a Molotov if anyone would like to know about that. I got one. Anyway, um. Old oh, yeah. good, I'm on fire. That, that's great. Old Resident Evil games are another one of those <laughs> subjects where it was good for its time, but the kind of slow, like, movement of the gun where you have to stop in place, well, see, aim I, your gun. Well, I and, like that. That's scary. That's putting the it, fear it, in It's you. scary, yeah. I just, I just can't adapt to that. That's just personally yeah. me. All right. Um, I, I understand that, yeah. And those are difficult games. Those aren't easy. The puzzles in those, they could be really confusing. Back when uh, Capcom wasn't um, one of the worst things ever. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's so not knock Capcom. Most of yeah, the worst things ever. Yeah, we're not like I mean... I mean, Phoenix Wright isn't dead yet, so... I mean, they've got something going. But ever since Xenofune left, they've pretty much... I like Dead down. Rising. I like those games a lot. Those were different games. Those were revolutionary. Yeah. I mean, what other game is like Dead Rising? I mean, I didn't play Dead Rising, so I can't answer that. Okay. I mean, that's just a game where, like, pretty much everything was a weapon. If you could find it, it could be used as a weapon. That was unique. That seems awesome. So, I forgot I had a health pack. Hey, I do too. Alright. Ellis. Uh, Ellis. Well, thank you, Ellis. Hey, Molotov. Let's not. You know, oh, I crap. I got a jockey on me. All right. Now, Derek, that's what you get for going outdoors without looking. Woohoo, going outdoors All without right, looking. So we got healed up, and... There's a defibrillator over here. Pick it up if you can. I if cannot. If you don't have a I, 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 I can go pick it up. Actually, I can lay down this. I'm deploying explosive ammo. I also got a pipe bomb. I also have a Molotov. Now, what, what do you think about games like, uh... Hmm... Let me think of a good one to talk about. What, what do you think of Skyrim and, like, Fallout? What? I love those games. I want to see what you think about those games. Overrated. Why? I'm joking. All right. <laughs> no, I was about to say, why? Skyrim, why? I feel, is overrated. It's a great game, but I feel like everybody and their mother was like, best game of the year, best game of the year. Mm -hmm. um, it was great. It has flaws with, like, with every Bethesda title. Like, they're very buggy, but, I mean, they're really great games. Well, I... Fallout, I just wish the level cap wasn't a problem. Um, even with the DLC, it still kind of becomes a problem, but, I mean... Well, which was your favorite Fallout, 3 or New Vegas? I liked the world of 3, but the gameplay of New Vegas. Well, the, what or the I, changes in New Vegas, rather. Yeah. Well, what I like about New Vegas was, it did a lot of good changes to the leveling system, to... There was oh, crap, stuff threw you could a Molotov. Do. However, 3, I just love the story much better. Like, the story of New Vegas was the same, no matter what you did. You were always stuck going to the same factions, doing the same things. I know you can say, oh, you could do different missions, you could do that. No. In the end, you were still doing pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I could see that. I will say, though, that I do like the DLC of New Vegas better. Uh, Honest Hearts is actually my favorite one. Uh, out of all of them, I, if I had to pick one to play and only have from my New Vegas, it'd be Honest Hearts. When it comes to 3, my favorite one was Point Lookout. There's no doubt about it. Point Lookout was great. The environment was great. The places you go. I don't know. It, it, that game genuinely felt scary in Point Lookout. Point Lookout was disturbing. Mm. And that's like another game. Like, oh, it's not even really a horror game, yet you could still be scared by it. Um, I feel like that can be um, attrition to a lot of games. I mean, they're just... Usually those moments in games that are just genuinely, like, out of place. Like, even in some moments in uh, Pokemon, yeah, ha have those moments. Like, <laughs> take a look at yeah. any of the Pokedex entries for, like, any of the ghost types. Yeah, it I, frequently, I, I don't really know Pokemon. It, it frequently mentions, like, you know, death, you know, revenge in the afterlife, 
It's it's yeah. darker themes hidden in kids' games. I, I mean. and I I honestly love that. We'll just look at Majora's Mask. Yeah. Oh, oh don't even get me started. Hey, fire I, thing. I feel like we might just have a series where I talk about Majora's Mask theories. So there's a gas tank here, and I just shot it. Guys, you guys are way behind. Well, I'm I'm purposely going backwards because um I have a bat. Okay. Oh, good job, good job. Yeah, that I'm was down. Good job. That was good me with job. the fire. Um. I'm coming to find you, Zach. Somebody's close to me, I know that. I see Ellis and me, and I'm coming. I see your outline. Also, I'm on my way. I just had to stop to pick up another weapon. But thank you, thank you. That You can be on your way. That, that'll that work. Yes. Oh, Ellis, why did you have to go on down? Oh, oh good, a it's a tank. Oh, shit. That's the one that killed me. No, I think it's a charger, actually. That's what killed me. Oh. Well, I've got an easy solution to this. Shoot it. Done. Kill oh, it like I the rest. A, I threw a pipe bomb. Oh, well, you threw pipe it right Pipe bombs on. don't work on Special Infected. Oh, that's good to know. Well, let's see if this will... Okay, this works. Special Infected aren't effect, affected by pipe bombs. If you throw a boomer bile at them, it attracts zombies, but pipe bombs don't work on them. So they're not infected by bombs, huh? They're not. Infected. Special effect are not infected by bombs. I hate you. <laughs> He's right. So, Ryan, I'm still just following you, because I don't know where you're going. Oh, okay. Well, I guess now would be a more perfect time than ever is, um... To go towards I don't... the safe house? Well, that, I was going to say, I don't play Left 4 Dead 2 that much, so... Uh, I say it would be generally not a good idea to follow me, because I will wander, because I am most likely speaking or thinking on two other subjects at the same time. And... That is perfectly fine. Well, well, I know where to go in the levels, because I've been playing Left 4 Dead since it came out, so... Ooh, I just found a katana. Okay. Uh, Derek, that's your favorite weapon, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, I like the crowbar the best. That's that's my favorite, because I feel like I'm playing oh. Half-Life 3. You know, Half-Life 3, when it comes out, eventually. Please come out. Please? It's not going to be as good as everybody thinks it will be. It's hyped too much to the point where they've... I'm coming. They've lost their opportunity to make it something that people will love. Nah, I'll make it good. It'll be a good game. Good game. It's gonna be a good, good game. game. Hey, look, you guys can rescue me. Oh, look at that! I'm alive. Oh, I got a pipe bomb. And I got a guitar. It's a pipe bomb. All right, would you guys like to follow me? I don't sure. know where anyone is. I, I mean, we're I'm right at, behind you. I'm at low health. Right behind me. Oh, you are right behind okay, me. Just Not follow me. In front of me. Oh yes, the, the slide. Yeah, uh, don't go near the slide. Go near the slide, you say? No, you can go near the slide. Yay! All right. All right. I got your bombs. <laughs> Somebody just killed a charger. Here Not comes a spitter. Me. That's a witch. There is a witch right in front of us. Whoever threw a pipe bomb might die. That's not me. I'm slaying infected on the slide. All right. You know, what I love about this game is you have to play it with other people. You have to. I realize there's a single player mode, but try playing that stuff on expert without other people and you will die easily. The AI in this game is basically just meat shields. That's all they are, meat shields. It's like Payday 2 without other people. Also sort of like a uh, Hyrule Warriors with the multiplayer function they got set up. With some of the missions they got on there, you can finish with by yourself, you know. More of the enemies spawning in your location. It's not so, like, divvied up between the players. But at the same time... It's not as much fun. Uh, that and there are just some missions that just aren't possible in single player, no matter how high your level is. The amount of enemies that can spawn sometimes gets a little overwhelming. What about games like Borderlands? Those are, those games are fun with other people. Oh shoot, I almost died. I'm at one health, so I mean... Would you like to be healed? I would like that, yes. Actually, wait. What? Why am I healing you if Derek can? Okay, where are you? Never mind. We're right in front of you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was spun around. I was killing Remember, if you ever lose sight of somebody, just look for their blue outline. All right. Shut down the Caruso. Uh, just so you know, we just started a horde event, so there's going to be a it. bunch of them. All right, just swing the axe. Swinging a sword. Derek, where are you going? Don't know. Yeah. Okay. If anybody hasn't realized this, uh, the other two people are very new at this game. This is well, like my so sixth new. time playing. 
I've played enough to know the game, just not I to memorize the maps and where to go exactly when. This game is 8th grade for me. Oh, oh go to tank. All right, run away. Okay, yep. Didn't see that coming. Pumping full of bullets. Pumping full of bullets. Pumping full of, pumping full of bullets. Is that a crowbar? That's a crowbar. I am grabbing a crowbar. I feel like a freed man. Man, that joke is so... Oh. So what? I'm a rock star. Party hard. Right, I was going uh, for a pink joke, Derek. Come oh, on. Step not. up. <laughs> oh, you want to get on the topic of music? Yeah. What do you think about country music? I like it. I, I just... I'm not a fan. I don't like it at all. It just doesn't interest me. Interest? Interest me. Interest. My, I, interest? I like classic rock. I like a I lot of like genres. I like a lot of oh. genres. My favorite bands are probably Green Day and Pink Floyd. Those are my two favorite bands. I can agree with you on that, but I have to say my favorite is definitely Breaking Benjamin. I like Breaking Benjamin a lot. A lot of people do, yeah. Also, I am pinned and now, dead. Uh, another band I really like is Blink-182. I do like Blink-182 a lot. Well, me, I like a lot of electronic music. You know, Daft Punk, Maddion, mm -hmm. a lot of the French house people. Um... Let me tell you, the French are like the Asians with math and music. Yeah. Yeah, see, the thing I like about techno music is it's really different. It's... It's, it's like a flashback to disco. It's, it's like a big flashback to disco. A lot of Daft Punk songs go back to the 70s. I mean, if you even look at Discovery, I mean, very disco. Yeah. Zach, um, are you in the safe room? Yes, I'm in the safe room. Uh, but, uh, I am dead. I also like a lot of punk rock with Rise Against, Zebrahead, you know, um, yeah. Bowling for Soup. Oh, Rise I love Bowling for Soup. Yeah, three oh, Days I Grace. love Bowling for Soup. Yes, Three Days Grace is great. Three Days Grace. I like Breaking Benjamin, like yep. you said. I, I'm a big fan of Avenged Sevenfold, actually, and a lot of people try to argue with me that they're country, and I will refuse with them. I will say, no, they are rock. They Avenged are not Sevenfold country. Is not country. If you think they're country, there's a problem with you. Yeah. That's like saying Bruce Springsteen's country. It it doesn't happen. 